Ryan knew that he would rather lay down his life for his fellow man than to watch on the sidelines. Her son, one of the 13 troops killed in the attack at the Kabul airport. Ryan did his job. Ryan was something. Tonight, through her pain, the mother of Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Canals explains the pride she has for the boy she raised and the man he became. Ryan Canals was just 23 years old when he died in that bombing attack. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. His mother is sharing his story and her sadness at a life cut short. News Channel 8's Melanie Michael spoke with Ryan's mother, who is now in Tennessee, Mel, with family, all of them grieving, a lot of tears flowing tonight. Good evening to you both. Tonight is a message from a mom to her son, a life taken far too soon. This was the last photo Staff Sergeant Ryan Knauss would ever send to his mother, the last picture she would ever receive. It reads, all good here, mom. I love you. Two days later, Ryan was killed in combat. We miss you. <laughs> we didn't want you to go. <laughs> but we're glad you did what you did. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, son. Ryan's mom, who lives in Seminole, had just returned from her honeymoon last week, recently marrying her sweetheart, still celebrating their nuptials. On Thursday, she received the news she prayed she would never, ever hear. Her 23-year-old son was killed in Afghanistan. Ryan made his own history. And so, Ryan, if you hear me out there, we miss you. <laughs> We missed you very much. <laughs> and we can't wait to come and see you one day. This military mom tells us her son was born to be a soldier. For him, it was a lifelong calling, a dedication to service, to country, to freedom, and to family. His best friend was his brother Tyler, still in shock over the loss. Ryan also leaves behind a wife, a young woman his mother describes as his heart, his hero to her and so many others. But that's what makes true men and true men of valor is they don't realize what an impact they make on the rest of us. For now, Ryan's mom continues to make funeral arrangements for her son, a boy she remembers telling her years ago he wanted to be in the military. Now a young man she wishes she could hold in her arms. I feel with Ryan right now. To stretch my arms out and just hold him. Just hear from him. Sometimes I call his phone just to still, still hear his voice on his messages. I've Snapchat him a few more times just to make sure if my boy wants to say something. This year we moved here. Oh, I miss him. <laughs> oh, always miss my Ryan. And tonight we would like to thank Ryan's mother for spending some time with us, sharing those thoughts on her son. She would like to see her boy laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery. I'm Melanie Michael, eight on your side.